think I've seen this name before a few times. Uh, looks like he's on. This is either. Uh, it's hexproof. And he played this on 523, so he's probably still playing hexproof. I'm going to play first because I won the die roll. Hmm. I don't think I can keep this hand. I can keep this hand, although it's not good. I'm not going to mulligan, regardless. Uh, Utopia's probably. Yeah, so he still is on a hexproof deck. I'm going to go ahead and brainstorm now so I can have six. Ugh. Well, I'm screwed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I guess the only way to really win here is by uh, getting this, getting these spire golems out and just hoping to race him. I know my next draw is an island. Unfortunately, I didn't hit a ninja or anything like that, so. Maybe he just kept a, a hand without creatures. That's really good for me if he did. Yep. So let's get in there with the cloud. I don't play out a spire golem. So like I said, I don't have counter spells right now, and it's not even worth it to bluff it out, because I don't think he's going to... Wow. He doesn't have any creatures. Holy shit. Oh, I got super lucky here. Um, he kept a hand without creatures. At all. So I feel pretty good about my prospects here. Maybe, hand, maybe his hand was just amazing if he'd drawn creatures. I don't know. Okay, well, there's his first creature, so he's probably going to Voltron it up now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Voltron, go. Voltron away. <laughs> just keep drawing fucking lands. Ah, uh, well... As irritating as this is, uh, yeah. seven lands and th four spells seems fair. So if he Voltrons again and again, I just lose. All right, doesn't quite kill me yet. <coughs> Another Rancor doesn't quite kill me yet. Ancestral Mask does kill me. Alright, well, I didn't draw any fucking anything to do, so... <sighs> this is getting super irritating. I'm just drawing like shit. Uh, boomerangs come in. Deprives come in. Uh, let's look at the sideboard plan. Piracy Charms, Bears, and Inus Grace come out. Bears, Piracy Charms, Inus Grace, and a Fairy Trickery comes in. Alright, well, hopefully I'll draw, like, fucking something this game. Okay, this is okay. I need to flip the Delver on turn one, or turn two, but uh, this is okay otherwise. No counter spells again, so, you know, let's see. I'm just drawing my crap this match, or this event. Alright, turn one abundant growth is actually pretty, pretty good news for me. So, uh, like a spell starter would be an awesome draw. Counter spell would also be a good draw. But yes, boomerang's a good draw too. I'll take the boomerang. So let's get in there with the delver, play out two clouds of fairies, and leave up, and leave up boomerang.
So we're just going to boomerang this thingy now. That'll be a pretty big tempo loss for him. And it gets rid of one of his enchantments. It's not the ideal use for boomerang, but it is what it is. That makes it where he can't cast a creature this turn. All right, Ninja's pretty sweet draw too. So we're gonna go ahead and use Lay Ninja on a Cloud of Fairies. Always yes, always yield. Drawing Spire Golem's not the worst there. So he pretty much has to play a creature here. And hopefully he doesn't just like ethereal armor that creature. Bogle. Probably now he has the ethereal armor. Ethereal armor. Lifelink. Okay, well that's not that bad. Still makes it where he sacrifices. So we're going to attack anyway. Let's get in there with everything. I drew a brainstorm. Hmm. So the Cloud of Fairies is free. I'm going to cast that. So now it's a choice between do I play out the Spire Golem? I'm going to brainstorm. I'm going to see what I, what I draw here off the brainstorm. Fairy Trickery, Delver. So I can set up a Delver flip with Fairy Trickery, and that just straight kills him. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a Delver flip with Fairy Trickery, and just play out the Spire Golem too. Play out one, the, one, this Spire Golem as well. And this just makes it to where no matter, pretty much no matter how much life he gains, he still loses. Alright, Ethereal Armor makes it 4, so he's going to gain 4 life. A Rancor, so he gains 7 life. Hmm. That's not good for me, actually. Uh, I'm going to take it, of course. Setting up the Delver Flip. Uh, is that lethal? Yes. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, that's lethal. Five, six, and then six more. Yeah, that's exactly lethal. So there we go. Get in there, team. Turn five kill with the Delver deck. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so, hmm. Do I want to change anything? I don't think I do. Fairy Trickery might be a little dirtily, but it's not really much else for me here, so. Let's go with this. He kept his hand. I'm, uh, like, this isn't great, but I'm going to keep it. Sorry, I'll do my best here. Uh, can you hear me better now? I'm not going to mulligan this. Alright, good. I drew a Delver. That's a pretty sweet draw. Alright, a Utopia Sprawl on his land. And he gets to play a Ledge Walker. Hmm. That sucks. Always yield. No, I'm not going to reveal Island. Um, we're going to attack, though. Hopefully, he just plays a one mana enchantment that I can exhaust out of her. Alright, 
that Rancor is pretty, pretty worthy of getting spell stuttered. <clears throat> oh man, he's got an ancestral mask. Well, that sucks a lot. Um, I'm gonna take the five here. Next turn, I can boomerang the ancestral mask, and then just chomp with the spell stutter. Ugh, I can reveal now. I need you to flip Delver. Uh, we're just gonna get in there with the Delver first. And pass the turn. So he's life linking his ledge walker. I'm gonna let that happen. Bogle, okay. Alright, so boomerang the ancestral mask. And then I get to kill his ledge walker. Chump City. Flip. Flip Mr. Delver. Uh, no. Mr. Delver did not flip. Um, let's play Spire Golem. He plays Ancestral Mask next turn. There's nothing I can do about that. So, I'm going to attack the Delver. So I know he's got the Ancestral Mask coming down. Um, I think I'm just going to spell start this thing. Because I can't counter the Ancestral Mask. I don't think he's not going to go for the Ancestral Mask. So I might just have to take five from the Ancestral Mask beat down. And I think that's what's going to happen. Thanks. I like the ringtone myself. So Mr. Delver needs to flip now. All right, good. He flipped. Thank God. Um, hmm. So the attacks, I think the attacks need to happen. Just put him on a faster <laughs> clock. Yeah, I think I'm going to attack with just the Delver and the Spire Golem. I will chump the Bogle with the Spell Stutter Sprite and then snap it back to my hand. And then be able to reuse it on something. Hopefully. At the very least, it'll buy me at least uh, five damage. <laughs> Since this thing doesn't have trample, I'm just going to be able to do this. Save my spell stutter. So we're just kind of hoping to tempo him out now. Uh, that needs to be trickeried. And we 
pass the turn. Get another Delver. <clears throat> so we're going to Bashy Bashy. If he has a uh, Armadillo Cloak, now I'm screwed. But if he doesn't have an Armadillo Cloak, he's pretty well dead. So he knows that I have the rank, or I, rather I have the uh, spell starter in hand, so. He's probably going to play around the spell starter. At least I assume he is. So I need the Delver to flip. If Delver flips, I just win. If Delver doesn't flip, I need to buy another turn. Blade cover, yeah, you're getting countered. Do I even need to do that though? Blade cover doesn't actually save him. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to. Um, this way, if he has like, if he plays another ancestral mask, I don't just die. It also makes it to where if I draw a ninja, then I win. All right, he got a bogle. All right, that's good. So, Mr. Delver flip. Mr. Delver flip. He did. Sweet. Good game. And I'm on to round four. All right. <clears throat> 